the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, o Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. A reading from Titus, chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright and God lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own eager do what is good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, the Lord God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings.
Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. Loving God, in Jesus you know what it is to be human, and you understand the concerns and needs we all carry for ourselves and for others. Hear us as we pray to you now for help, healing and guidance in your church and in the world. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, that we are able to gather together through technology, despite the present restrictions on our lives. We thank you for the gifts you give to your people that make this possible. We pray for your world, which is in need of your guidance, love and help at this time. We find ourselves living lives that we could never have imagined, Lord, and we ask that you help us to walk through these strange days, knowing that there will be an end. We pray that you give us strength to uphold others in their needs, whether physical or spiritual. Help us to be aware of and reach out to those in need. We hold before you all who are unwell at this time, whatever the cause. We pray for those in hospital and those at home. Give them comfort and healing, dear Lord. And as we pray for the sick, we pray for those who care for them. Give them strength to continue their work with compassion and understanding. We ask for your love to surround those who aren't getting the treatment they need at this time. We pray for the many that have died in the last month and are grateful that you are there for them. And we ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon those left to mourn and also upon those who at this time wait for news of loved ones but cannot be with them. King of kings and Lord of lords, making the true light to shine, light now darkness now and evermore, that with our lips and in our lives we may praise you, for you are our God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, 
clothed in majesty, whose beloved son was this day presented in the temple in substance of our flesh, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us join together to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. May the living waters of Christ cleanse us. May the Spirit descend upon us, and the blessing of God be with us, this night and always. Amen. And our service will conclude this evening 
with Patsy and Matthew singing Purify My Heart. choose to be 